Have you ever been working with a list of links in Google Sheets, but wanted a list of the URLs as well? Because these may look nice, but do not give you directly in text the URL. And so you may have tried to finagle with this, but had trouble getting it out. So the issue is this is what's called rich text. And so we're going to have to process it on the back end to extract that data. Fortunately, there's a simple custom function that we can do and you can run it from a formula just like you would everything else. So let's go ahead and show you how to build this real quick. So extensions and app script. And we're going to create a simple script. So we can go ahead and just call this script and then we're going to use the filler here and we're just going to rename this as get link. You can name this whatever you want. And then we're going to put input because this is what we're going to put into that function. So just like you would put equals sum and you're going to put something inside that function. We're going to do the same thing with our get link, except for one difference we're going to do because if we just do it like we do with every other formula, then it only passes the data back to the backside, not the links. And so what we're going to end up doing is putting this inside double quotes. And what that's going to allow us to do on the back end is we can get the sheet. So we'll do sheet, spreadsheet, get active sheet. And then we can now get that range because we specified it. And so get range input. And so now we can take that input there, whether it's a single cell, multiple cells, and we can actually get the range. And now from that range, we can extract the rich text. So let's assume, first of all, that maybe you're just working with a single cell. So in that case, what we do is we return range, get rich text value, and get link URL. So hit save. And then now if we come over here, get link B2. And notice I have that in double quotes. Hit enter. And there's that link. So that works great. And so if that's all you want to do is just from a single cell, then this is all that you need. If you want to be able to process multiple cells, though, then we need to add a little bit more. And so what I'm going to do here is we'll reuse that here in a second. But let's determine if we have one or more than one row. This way we can do that is let num rows range get num rows. And that will tell us how many rows were put into the input. And so what we could do is if num rows is equal to one, then we'll do our little piece of code we have here. Otherwise, what we'll do is we're going to have to extract then for each row. And so if we have multiple rows like this, we want to be able to go one by one and extract that link. And so what we do here then is in this case, we just were able to get that one value. But in this case, we're going to have multiple. What we're going to do is say let rich text values range dot get rich text values. So see, there's one that's value and values. So values allows us to catch a range. And then we need to parse this back to a return. So this is return a single cell. We need to return an array because we're going to paste it in here. And so what I'm going to do now is create a little array that we're going to tuck this inside of. And this is how that looks just like that. So then we need to iterate through each row in our rich text values. So the way we do that is a simple for loop. And so that just looks like this. And so we have i equals zero, semicolon, i is less than number rows. And so this is how we start is i is zero. And then while i is less than number rows, we'll keep iterating. And then when it's done running whatever's in here, it's going to add one to i. So in other words, it's going to start at zero. And let's say the number of rows is 10. Then is zero less than 10? Yes. So run. Afterwards, add one. So that'd be one. All right. So one is one less than 10. Yes. And so running again and again and again. Maybe wondering why we start at zero. It's just because the way you count in programming starts with zero, not one. All right. So what we're going to do then for each row is we're going to, instead of returning it directly, we're going to put it in here first. And so what we'll do is results or result push. 
And then we need to put it in a bracket because this is a single row and we need to do multiple rows. And so multiple rows would look like this. Row one, row two, and so forth. And so what we're gonna do in here then is here's our new row. And then what we can do is we have our rich text values in this variable. So we'll call that rich text values. And then to access that row, we'll use this bracket and pick I because I is changing each time. So that will represent our row. And then because of the way the array works, we need to get the first column essentially because we could potentially have more than one column. And so this is how we get our row and our column. And then now we can do the same thing that we did before. And we can do get link URL. And so what this will do then is iterate through each row and push that link back to it. And then once we get done, then we can return our result. So now this will work for one or multiple rows. Let's go back up here and this is still in place. So let's just try two rows, see if that works. And there we go. And let's see if it goes all the way down to the bottom. And there we are. So there's all of our rows. All right, so that's it as far as the functionality goes. I'm going to paste something in here and then I'm going to drop this code in the first comment below so you can use this directly. But this is basically to give you a little more context when you're using this because when I type this in and I need to save it, I think I save it. Nope. I need to save it and then this will help us define as we're running it like you do with some and you see this little pop up. We're going to do the same thing with our get link. And so you can see there it pops up. If I open this, I can drop this down and we can see what we just put in there. So there's my little input. So make sure to put it in double quotes and then we'll be good to go. So B2 to B16, just like that. And then there we go. All right, so that is it for today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.